Live Richard and Judy along with a bit of Abby Titmus's diaries. Right now, try and beat the banker. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. We are, we're at the midweek point in the banker's summer extravaganza. And who would have believed that two battered suitcases could so fundamentally alter the gameplay? One has sunshine, one has sunburn. On Monday, Derek got the one with sunshine, instantly got a holiday for two in Portugal, and the opportunity after five box to open a box and then get an offer. And yesterday, M had the reverse. She found the sunburn, which gives the banker the opportunity to look in the player's box. Well, it was fascinating, because when the banker looked in the box, what he saw was 10p. And she still, with five to go, had the 100,000 and the quarter million. What was he going to do? He had to convince her that she had the quarter of a million. I think he did a brilliant job. He convinced the East Wing, the West Wing, all of the pilgrims, me, but there was one person who was not convinced she had the quarter of a million, and that was M. And she went away with 28,000. So it's not all over if you get the sunburn. You've just got to have a sharper brain than the banker, and that's saying something. Here comes today's passenger. Come on, we want to fly. Last call for... Adam! Adam, this is a trip of a lifetime. Please join me. Take a seat, Adam Morris from Southampton, a freelance lighting and sound technician. How are we doing? Very well, very well. Yes, yeah. that's obviously the first thing I noticed when I came in. It's beautiful. Said the right thing. Tell me about the family. Uh, well, my mum's here, over there, Charlotte, she's a midwife. Um, got my sister Beth, who is 18. Uh, my girlfriend there, Mags. This is the pic you want to show? It is. So yeah, there's my girlfriend, beautiful. Uh, there's me, not so beautiful. Uh, my sister there, my mum, and there's my dad, Jack. And my dad, at the moment, is uh, quite ill, but um, hopefully he's going to be all right, so I'm not going to get worried about that. OK, well, we wish him well. In 2004, you broke your wrist. I did. Not satisfied with that. In 2006, you broke your right hand, and then in 2007, you broke a bone in your foot. Yes. Is this a hobby? Uh, <laughs> it seems that way. Hopefully I'm not going to do one this year, you know, but... Uh, yeah, I've done Why? Why? I do, I do you uh, do particularly dangerous things? Yes, but through stupidity, not through particularly sensible things, just, you know, jumping off things or falling off gates or... <laughs> Mum's just looking embarrassed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I'm sure she is. So, if you win a huge amount of money, what will you be breaking today? What will I be... Or will you jump off the table, do cartwheels around the place? I mean, what, I what are you do. planning? Can we alert the fracture clinic? <laughs> Hopefully not, but I think I will go a bit crazy, yeah. OK. And what are you going to do with the money? Well, um, I want to try and help my parents out a little bit because um, obviously my dad's not working and he's not... He just can't work, so that would be good to help him out. Um, other than that, I haven't really thought about it. Travelling's a, a big thing I want to do. Um, surfing other places around the world because I love surfing. Just, I I'm trying not to think about it because I don't know what's going to happen, you know. That is actually a very sensible thing to say. 
even if it's a lie. It's not a lie. <laughs> it's a very sensible thing to say. Because the moment people come with a shopping list, and worse still, if they come with a need rather than a want, he latches onto it straight away. Interesting mind games. Well, yeah. Well, you definitely get a holiday if you manage to find the sunshine over there. Very true, we, yeah. We proved yesterday sunburn is not all over. It's painful, but it's not fatal. Are you happy to go on? Yeah. Uh, Adam, I need you please to confirm you chose box number four at random before the game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Simple as that, really, Adam. Good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> No idea where I'm going to go. So, um, number one, beautiful Helen. Let's go for that. Helen, you're first in. Thank you. Okay, good luck, Adam. 20 grand. Ooh. Sorry, right, mate. It's weird out here. Weird. <laughs> what, looking at them in this state, do you mean? Yeah, mainly that, yeah. <laughs> You had to pick me for the summer show, didn't you? Really? You're about the only one who can carry it off. I, I keep being drawn to Dave with that appalling sunburn. I feel in pain just looking at your face. <laughs> Shirley, number three, please. Welcome to the game. Thank you. Good luck, Adam. You're a lovely lad. Coming. Joe, number 10, please. Thank you, Mr. Mackay. Open box number 10. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Mary. Scary Mary, please. Number 22. <laughs> Not that you're scary. You're One of my right. trained cabin staff. She is. <laughs> Flown everywhere together, haven't we, Mary? Everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Yes. <laughs> Trying to get her out of the cockpit is the problem. <laughs> Thank you, Scary Mary. I wish you all the luck, sweetheart. Yeah! yeah! Oh, good start. <laughs> One more. Bez, my next door neighbour. You look so much happier since we put that garland on you. Really? Yeah. Oh, great. You look a really cheery child. I was calling him funeral face yeah, before. Yeah. But now you're looking radiant. Give us a blue. All the very best for you. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh! Yes. That's all right. <laughs> oh, good man. We like that. We like it. We like that very, very much indeed. Happy? I'm much happier now. Yeah. You could tell I was nervous, but I'm all right now. No, you need a round like that, and then all the nerves go. Hello, banker. Very good today, thank you, because I enjoyed you losing the mind game. You've always built yourself up as being brilliant when it comes to psychology and the mind games. But yesterday, that was fair and square and beat you. Today's a new day and Adam is here. Yes, I'll pass that on. The dirty, filthy hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, <laughs> I'm, I'm only the messenger, you know. Ah, he says he's going to talk to you in your own language. <laughs> hey, dude! <laughs> Relax! <laughs> Peace and love! Big surf, dude. He says, be very careful when you're surfing. Why? The Coast Guards won't be able to save him. Why? Oh, because he'll be too far out, man. <laughs> <laughs> the filthy hippie gets £9,000, which is an, an expensive haircut. <laughs> Nine grand for Fox 4. That is a good offer, but I am ready for the question now. Straight away, no hesitation. Power five. Look at it. Nine thousand pounds, deal or no deal. Thank you, but no deal. Away you go. <laughs> there 
Let's keep him there, though. Come on. Emma, please, number nine. Ah, oh, Emma. <laughs> Second crew member from Crazy Air. <laughs> Good luck. 75,000. First major hit. Come on, Come on, Come on All right. Beryl. 21, please. She's a comedian, you know. A barrel of laughs, they call it. <laughs> Beryl, give it to us, Beryl. Well, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, well, I'm very nervous. Very, very nervous. Why is this? Finger, hand, foot. You've had three serious breaks in the last three years, and now there's another one. <laughs> Do come back and see if he's in one piece. Game's looking pretty good. See you in a moment. <laughs> Already dubbed the filthy hippie by the banker. He's having a good game. I did prefer it when he called me the happy hippie, though. I'll tell you. Well, you can tell he's a bit worried by you, because that's when he gets insulting and says things like filthy and whatever. Right, we need the one P. So, where is that? Ray, number 18, please. Adam, <laughs> the, we all know the banker's got it wrong. You're a great lad. And good luck. Thank you. Time again, people deliver kind words, and then they deliver a game-wrecking box. Hello. Is he in? Is he in your employ? Because I'm always nervous when we've gone through a period of time without there being a particularly obvious banker's agent. But looking at him, he's one of yours, isn't he? <laughs> Oh, Ray, you're his little ray of sunshine. <laughs> Quarter mill's gone. Mm, we're plummeting. A bit of turbulence here. We're going down to 3,000. There's plenty of money left there. Go on, then. Ready? Yeah, go on. 3,000 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Yeah! Come on, Adam, come on! Unlucky for some. 13, please, and then Carol. Thank you, Carol. Good luck, Adam. I hope it's a blue for you. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Right, Lee? Yes, thank you. Yeah. I'll I'm going to blow my head. It's a blow for you. Thank you. Ten thousand. Oh. Right. 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 Yeah. I was drawn to you, Val, so number 15, Val, please. Val, I want to get rid of that one P, please. Now we've lost the quarter of a million. I'd like the other end of the game out. I'll do my best. Thank you. Good luck, Adam. Yeah. Well, don't forget that if you get to Very five box in live play, we'll be having a go at those suitcases. And if you can find the sunshine, 
and you decide to go on. The climax of your game is going to be fascinating because you get an offer after every single box you open. And you get a guaranteed holiday for two. So, uh, decide to go on up there. Well, let's see if we can. Suitcase territory could be very interesting. Hello! Val let you down, yeah. What does she look like? Shower curtain? Yeah. Although, don't you think my two hosties look rather hot? Ah, we at Crazy Air know how to have fun. Oh, you're hoping to drag them over to Banker Airways? What are you offering that I can't offer? Larger undercarriage. <laughs> he says, what a weird life that young man leads. Yeah. You know, rock and roll, surfing, hippieing and all that stuff. He reckons you're going to have trouble holding it all together in later life, so he's offering you eight and a half thousand pounds of therapy. I was expecting more than that, actually. Oh! <gasps> I'm not sure that was an altogether wise thing to say. Adam, that's a fair offer from the banker. I think it's about what I was expecting, but I think there's plenty more air miles left than that yet. Oh, very good. Why are you looking at me? You've never done as you're told all your life, I don't say. <laughs> no good looking at me. I'm ready for the question, sir. Please ask me. Eight and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you. It is a good offer. I didn't mean to rubbish it because it's a lot of money and I did take out ten thousand there. But exactly. no deal. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Well, Adam, I hope this is a better break for you. Break? Shattered it. 100,000's out of the game. Oh, I like that. Come on, sunshine, someone said. Quite right. If we get to that suitcase. Woo. Tim, you look so good in that yellow hat, I'm going to have to go for you, mate. Number seven, please. Make this a blue. a break just there okay and I guarantee everybody will come back I know you will come back because you want to know whether these two battered suitcases are gonna play a pivotal role in Adam's game one has got <laughs> sunburn one has got sunshine if he finds the sunburn as we had yesterday the banker gets to look in his box he will come back because it is a very exciting way to play this game See you in a moment. Do you know someone who deserves to be a deal or no deal Christmas star? We're looking for exceptional individuals who have a truly inspirational story to tell. For details on how to apply, the terms and conditions, go to channel4.com forward slash deal. And remember, we must have your nomination by August the 8th. Looking good. Six reds, three blues, so you can get to six two if you find a blue. And I want to see that one P. Are you still going over there? Yeah. Okay, Stuart, it is you. Okay, there goes Adam. Uh, sunburn is red, the sea is blue, hope you win loads of cash, and the holiday too. <laughs> yeah, we like that.
Yeah. Hopefully the one P for you, mate. No, we didn't want that. Mmm. Hello. You like the new Poet Laureate, do you? And uh, points out of 10 for delivery. Whose delivery did you enjoy? Oh, little Willie, yeah. He liked your uh, gap tooth grin as you revealed the biggest number in the game. Uh, oh, he apologises that you didn't like the last offer. He attempted to make it as generous as he could, and so he's going to try and attempt to make this more generous too. He's only going to half you. 4,250. 4,250. That is a lot of money, you know, to you and Mag, so think about it. But if I know you, I know you'll know what you want to do. Adam, you can afford to go on another round because you've got three figures above that. Go on another round and you enter the box situation, the suitcase yeah, situation. The yeah. yeah, but you're looking at £4,250. It's a huge sum of money still. Ifs and buts and mights and maybes don't come into it, so study the offer before you make a decision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 4,250 pounds, deal or no deal? It's a lot of money, it really is, but no deal. Thank you, right. Right, we're on our way to the baggage. Yep. Jay, please, number 14. Uh, Jay, 1p, 250 pounds, 750 pounds. We want to get to the baggage reclaim with the two big ones still undiscovered. Thank you, Jay. 5,000. Not ideal, but not disastrous. Not disastrous. Not no, disastrous. But now we have to go down. Number six, please, Wendy. Good luck, love. I really hope you do it. Oh, come on. Yeah! Come on, you're nearly there. Right. You can't take them both, so don't touch either. Yeah. Please. Dave, 3,000 downwards, nothing's changed. Want to get to the suitcases with 35 and 50 still in play. Yeah! Yeah. 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 3,000. Yeah. Honestly, that round, story of the game. Not Fabulous, but not disastrous. Could have been better, but we're here. Yeah. Five box. It is very finely balanced, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, critical choice. Uh, this could really have a massive impact upon your game, as we saw on Monday and yesterday. One has got the sunburn. One has got the sunshine. Sunburn means the banker can look inside your box, reseal it, and the only good news for you is the swap is guaranteed. But you will get yourself into the most amazing mind game. So probably a bit of sunshine would be nice. And a guaranteed trip abroad for two people is in here. And then if you decide to go on after the next offer, you can, of course, get an offer after each box. So the sunshine is what you really want. One or two? One, please. Suitcase number one.
remember we are looking for a ray of sunshine. So that was the one that we were really after and you would have been going to Egypt. Holiday for two in Egypt. So we have now the situation that if the banker wants, he can have a little look in your box number four. So now the banker will be able to remove the seal, have a look inside and then reseal it. But let's remember yesterday's game, Adam. Don't forget that although he saw 10p, he did not win the game. So it's not all over because he gets the advantage of a peek in the box. And remember, you do get a swap at the end. Here he is, he returns to your box number four and it has the banker's seal on it, proving that it has been opened. Thank you, Chivas. Now, of course, we will get an offer based upon the knowledge he has just acquired. Hello. You sounded exactly as you did yesterday. You ready? Go on then. 10,000 pounds. Your highest offer in the game. Adam, put yourself in the banker's mind at this point. He's just seen that you've got 1p, 750 or 1,000 pounds in this box. Is 10,000 actually his way of making you go on to the end? Is he trying to get you now to believe you've got one of those two biggies sitting Take out the 50, okay? And then you left the 35. What do you think your next offer's gonna be? Ready for the question? No. Adam. <laughs> what is it? We're very busy here, you know. on some very important things. Go on. I want you to think very, very carefully. £10,000 is a huge sum of money, yes. He doesn't want us to do any more discussing. He thinks £10,000 is a brilliant offer and he wants me to ask the question immediately because he thinks that you should deal and you should take £10,000. He really, really is playing a mind game here. Is he genuine? You have to ask yourself, why would the banker want you to take £10,000 so urgently? What's he seen in your box, Adam? I think that's right. Yeah. Do what you want. Do what you think. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay? Yeah. Adam. £10,000. Deal or no deal? Mr. Banker, deal. Right. Well, it was uh, it was delivered with conviction. I'm not sure it was delivered with confidence. I think you have a niggling doubt about that decision. Yeah. It's a lot of money to me. No, I can't risk it. But something's telling me. Something's telling me. 
Something's telling you that. Something's telling me there's some money in there. More than I've got. Let's play on with total honesty, please. And let's find out what did the banker see? Nicky, number 16, please. Okay, Nicky. Adam thinks he's got a huge amount of money in box four. What have you got in 16? Thank you. So if it's 50. Two boxes, one more, and of course, if you can find the fifty thousand, you've spanked him. Mike, number seventeen, please. Mike, has the banker just paid ten thousand pounds for a low-value box? Have you got fifty thousand in seventeen? Thank you, Mike. No. No, one more. You got one more, one more shot at it, and you had a horrible feeling that you'd brought a huge amount of money to the table. Remove that feeling. Give us an all blue finish. Brian, number 19. Okay, clear out the swing. Brian, we want to see £50,000. Top guy. Brian. No. 750. You were either on your way to join the 1P club or you were going to get a life changing £50,000 today. Five times more than the figure at which you dealt. Hello. Oh my word. Oh my word. He is now offering you the banker's gamble. It is the opportunity to give him back his £10,000 and to go back into live play and open either box 4 or box 11. He's saying, Adam, you believe £50,000 is on the table. Well, have you got the guts to go for it? Would he say that to me if, if there was 50 oh, Maybe he would. <laughs> oh my. Maybe he would. Is he honestly, really, going to let you give him back the 10,000 and open that box if he knows it's got 50,000 pounds in it? Is he going to do that? Oh, he is enjoying this. It's, it's even shot, isn't it? Heads or tails, it's a fantastic gamble. But can you afford to take that gamble? If you can, go for it, sunshine. Ready for the question, please? No. Right then, let's be very clear about the answer. If you say deal, you give him back the 10 grand and you decide whether or not to open box four or box 11. No deal means you're retaining your 10,000. Mm -hmm. Here is your question. Bankers gamble, deal or no deal? I honestly did think about it, but no deal. And now, he knew when he offered you £10,000 what was in this box. <laughs> you opted out at 10000 Did you turn your back on £50,000? Or have you actually spanked? blow it. No! You say you knew it, but it wasn't enough, was it? Stacey Ann, will you please open box number 11 and complete a fascinating game? Thank you. One piece over there. Mum, how are you feeling? £10,000. You said to me yesterday you'd be happy with five. So, yeah. and you're a winner in my eyes. <laughs> and bearing in mind the mental turmoil at the moment, uh, I think the regret will burn off fairly quickly. Clearly it means a huge amount to you. 
uh, we pass on our very best wishes to your father, and I hope £10,000 is going to make you very happy. Adam, ten grand. <laughs> Wow. Now, when the banker introduced these two suitcases, Sunshine and Sunburn, I did not think I was going to be saying what I'm about to say. I quite hope tomorrow's player also finds the sunburn, because it produces the most amazingly intense psychological battle. And you've got to give it to the banker to offer the gamble when he knew there was 50 grand in there. That's courage. Don't miss it tomorrow. Next, Abby Titmus on Richard and Judy.